Now I have before me the laptop that started it all for the Benji Kaiser channel. This is the Dell XPS 15, but this is the latest i7 13700H with the Intel Arc A370M GPU. And I must say that this thing blows away the laptop that I picked up in 2017 when I first started this channel. However, it still has the amazing things that I loved about it when I first kicked things off. It has the aluminum top cover, carbon fiber keyboard deck, upward facing speakers, an incredible build quality with all the ports and connectivity that you could possibly need. This laptop feels a little on the heavy side for such an on-the-go friendly laptop. It is thin, but because of that nice durable aluminum, it has a good amount of weight to it. Now, it's a satisfying amount. It's not like a, oh gosh, why is this thing heavy? It's so solid. Look at the top press on the top of the screen. Look at the bottom press on the bottom cover. It is such a well-built laptop, which for me, it was why I went for it so many years ago. This was the laptop to go to in 2017 when I picked it up. Now, there's a lot of options on the market today that have close to the same build quality and aesthetic that you could be going for with this XPS, but to me, there's still something special about this laptop, and that's why it would still be a top pick of mine in 2023. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and check out the ports. On the left side, we have a Kensington lock, two USB type Cs, and on the right side, we have our headphone jack, SD card reader, and another additional USB type C. Now keep in mind, you're gonna charge this via USB type C. So one of those will be occupied when charging. Now, another great thing about this laptop is the fact that this vent along the bottom is a full vent. It's not blocked at any point. A lot of times, laptop manufacturers, and they make it look like it's a full vent. However, there's a thin plastic material that stretches along a large section of it, making only the sides actually vent out. With this one, that's not the case. The whole thing is a vent. So it helps a laptop stay cool, especially with how well the A370M and i7 processor work together, being all Intel components. Now the assembly on this laptop is really unique. A lot of times, the bottom cover and the side panels meet near the bottom, but this time the bottom cover wraps around and actually becomes a part of the side panel. And so it's one solid piece of aluminum that makes up this entire side and bottom cover. So really nice for assembly. You're not gonna worry about it separating and coming apart. It's held together very nicely. But don't worry about being able to get this thing taken apart and upgraded. It has a really easy upgrade path and you can easily upgrade two RAM sticks and two M.2 drives. It comes with an occupied and an unoccupied drive slot inside of this laptop. So the upgrade path is still great, even though they have a nice thin form factor, they haven't taken away the ability to upgrade the XPS, which I absolutely love. Now the battery life has only gotten better on this laptop throughout the years. We have nine hours and 24 minutes of passport productivity, nine hours and 13 minutes of streaming video playback, five hours and 57 minutes of Photoshop, and three hours and 48 minutes of video editing. Now, take a look at how this laptop opens and closes. It is so solid. The hinge is so sturdy. It just locks right into place and uh, it doesn't have a lot of flimsiness to it. I can even like kind of shake the laptop and it doesn't even move around that much. So it really is a sturdy build. Now I love how they've gone from the barrel hinge I had in 2017 to these more two independent hinges that are connected by the screen here in the center. I really like how they have the hinge configuration on the newer model. I've not seen a new one of these in quite a few years and I'm still really impressed with it. We have upward facing speakers as I mentioned earlier and here's a quick audio sample for you. And of course we do have a webcam along the top bezel and here's a sample of that so you can check it out as well. This is the webcam on the Dell XPS 15 from 2023 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now using this laptop, it feels so nice to the touch. A soft touch keyboard deck with that beautiful carbon fiber beneath your hands. Now you do have a full keyboard without a numpad. You have full size right and left arrow keys with the smaller up and down arrow keys, but that provides you with a full size shift key, which I love. A large trackpad that is a manual click trackpad that is on a hinge but it's quiet, it's a nice dampened click. So you're not gonna worry about like annoying your neighbors or even it annoying you as you're using it. Feels great under my fingers. Here's an audio sample of me using both the keyboard and the trackpad. A 
Now, another thing that stands out to me about this screen is the view. There's very little bezels around the entire screen, even along the bottom. And the color accuracy is great. Even with this being the base model at around $1,500, you get 99% sRGB, 83% Adobe RGB, and 83% DCI-P3 with a brightness of 564 nits to my test, as well as 1.27 Delta E. So great display, like I said, even at the base model. And they do make it in an OLED display, that Ultra HD, but this is still a fantastic display you can get on one of the more affordable SKUs of this laptop. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability at the time you're watching this video, I'd head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase though, of course, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, but that keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Without further ado, let's see what this laptop is capable in regards to performance. Now, checking out the simulated benchmark, you can see that we have some pretty solid results here with the Dell XPS 15. It doesn't rock the charts. It gets kind of on the lower end of the charts. But I would say as we move into the actual real world test, looking here at Photoshop, you can see we scored 869 inside of Photoshop. And that is way more than enough performance that you would need inside of Photoshop. You're not gonna experience any lagginess. And if you do want more performance out of this laptop, I'd highly recommend taking that 16 gigs of RAM up to 32 gigs of RAM. When you do that, Photoshop loves RAM and you'll take this laptop from that 869 well into the 900s inside of Photoshop because that that is what Photoshop thrives on, is lots of RAM. Now looking at After Effects, because this laptop does have a four gig VRAM card, we're not gonna see the most amazing performance in After Effects. A 756, still solid, still going to be very usable, but I would say you're gonna experience some slowdowns and some lagginess here and there inside of the program. If you want a rock solid After Effects laptop, I recommend people getting into the 900 score with After Effects and you'll be like smooth sailing at that. Now without a doubt, out, one of the best areas for this laptop is video editing. It has fantastic video editing battery life and export time. You get a three minute and 17 second export time with this ARC A370 MGPU, the four gigs of VRAM, that is a stellar result for this laptop. Now, as we look at 6K video editing, it still has a solid export time at 22 minutes and 47 seconds. That's definitely in my range of around the 20 minute mark to showcase that this laptop can be a great laptop for 6K video editing and keep up with some of the bigger boys in the market. I mean, if you look, it's actually beating out the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14 with an RTX 4060 GPU. So it definitely has what it takes. Um, however, the ARC A370M GPU does not have as much uh, guts as I would say to do really smooth playback. If you look at the Premiere Pro drop frames, you'll see it has 4,251 for 6K B-RAW. So it's a little laggy there. RAM may help. So doing an upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM might help you a little bit, but I would definitely recommend this laptop as a 4K video editing machine. That's where it's gonna perform best is at that resolution, not necessarily pumping it up to 6K. This laptop is still one of my favorites on the market for this premium 15 inch form factor with the carbon fiber keyboard deck. I think it's so unique. So many laptops have either all aluminum or they have an aluminum top cover, bottom cover, and then plastic keyboard deck. I love how this laptop takes a unique approach, pulling in the carbon fiber onto the keyboard deck. The only other laptop that really heavily uses carbon fiber is Lenovo ThinkPad series. And though they do use it on the top cover, bottom cover, and keyboard deck, it's just like all the materials. I love how they wrap in different materials to create this laptop. It has a lot of nice texture to it and it just feels like such a quality piece and Dell continues to nail it out of the park with the Dell XPS 15. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.